Hello everybody, what's up? In this video, we will be revisiting the Astrock Desk Mini A300 now in 2022. Let's see how this PSU size computer performs in some games. Before I start, I would like to thank my uncle for lending me his Astrock Desk Mini A300. Thank you very much. I have done Azrock Desmin 8300 assembly video back in December of 2019. It is currently my most viewed video. Thanks a lot guys. Anyways, if you're interested in seeing how I assembled this computer, check it out down in the description. This is a really small portable computer. It's similar to the size of a normal ATX power supply, just a tiny bit bigger. My uncle was looking for a tiny portable computer and the Astrock Desk Mini A300 fit his needs and it was also fairly easy to assemble. The Astrock Desk Mini A300 provides you the case, power supply, motherboard, proprietary cables, and CPU cooler, leaving us the choice for the APU, RAM, and storage. It is compatible with Ryzen 2000 APUs and with a BIOS update even 2000 series APUs. I went for the R3-2200G, a 4-core 4-thread CPU that runs from 3.5 to 3.7 GHz. It has an included CPU cooler but it's a bit big and won't fit in the Desk Mini without some changes. Other people were able to get it in but in my case, it required me to bend the case a little bit. I didn't feel comfortable on doing that. The included CPU cooler with the Desk Mini is fairly capable of cooling the 2200G so I went with it. The R3-2200G also has an included GPU since it's an APU. On board, it has 8 core of Vega graphics that runs at 1100 MHz. We'll test how it runs on some games later on the video. For the RAM, I went for the G-Skill F4, 2x4GB, 8GB total, that runs at 2133 MHz. I could've gotten faster RAM but my uncle isn't gaming so faster RAM wouldn't benefit him. So we just went for this to save some money. For storage, I went for the 500GB SSD from SanDisk, 1TB 2.5 inch hard disk drive, plenty of storage for my uncle needs. Though the Dex Mini also has 2 NVMe slots on the board so you can expand it if you wanted for a total of 4 slots for the storage. Here's the complete specs of the build. And all of that out of the way, let's see how it performs on some games. Valorant runs decently on this mini desktop computer. The R3-2200G and its integrated Vega graphics is capable of delivering 96fps average and 1% loss of 59 on medium graphics settings. I'd say it's pretty playable, though if you need more FPS and hit around 120, you can lower the graphics a little bit more to achieve that, or maybe play at a lower resolution. Though with this kind of performance with this tiny PC, it's pretty good in my opinion. Fortnite is harder to run compared to Valorant. The R3-2200G struggled a little bit. But that being said, it was capable of delivering 48 FPS average and 1% loss of 22. I recommend turning down the resolution to 900p or even 720p if you want to achieve closer to 60 FPS gameplay or better yet, play on performance mode. Even at 1080p, you'll get over 60 FPS, sacrificing graphics quality for higher frame rates. Desk Mini's performance on Rocket League was good to play with. Close to 60 FPS average and 1% loss of 28, it was a decent gaming experience. Though, just like the previous games, you can lower the graphics and resolution a bit more to achieve higher FPS. So if you're a competitive Rocket League player, the Desk Mini and 2200G can deliver playable experience. Though, ignore my bad gameplay, I'm really bad at this game. I wanted to test a harder to run title and as expected, the Desk Mini with its 2200G struggled at the lowest graphics quality at 1080p. 
it was capable of delivering 25 fps average and 1% loss of 20. You can get closer to 30 fps average if you lower the resolution to 900p, but it's what we can expect from a mini PC. So if you want to play more graphically intensive games such as Tomb Raider, you're going to have to sacrifice a lot of visual quality. I stated earlier that I wasn't able to use the beefier included cooler with the APU, the Raid Stealth, since it was a little bit big. I used the included cooler that was provided by Azrock. As you can see, it was capable of cooling the APU decently, running both GPU and CPU below 70 degrees. The noise was okay, but could be better. It's not loud but it does produce high pitch noise that can be annoying if you have it pretty close to you. But if you wear headphones or using speakers at normal volume, it's barely audible. So after seeing all that, can I recommend the Azrock Test Mini A300? It's a yes and no, depending on the price. And also, Azrock released a newer version called the Azrock Test Mini X300 that supports up to Ryzen 5000 series, including the R7 5700G which is currently the most powerful APU, so if you're looking for a small DIY PC, the Azrock Dust Mini series is pretty good, I can recommend it. Thanks for watching the video everybody, I appreciate your support, so if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, subscribe to not miss upcoming videos, leave a comment because it helps with the algorithm, just if you want to. If you have questions or suggestions or anything, just type it in the comments, I'll reply when possible. I appreciate all of you viewers of this channel, take care and see you next time, bye.